Hello my lovely Canva friends, how are you this week? Today I'm going to be talking to you about Pinterest and for very good reason. Usually when we want to search for things we use Google and or Canva to find answers to our questions. But we tend to forget that Pinterest is actually a very powerful search tool. More than 400 million people use Pinterest every month. So imagine how many of those people could be searching for your products or your services. And a massive 84% of those pinners use Pinterest to decide what to buy. There's been a lot of talk on social media recently about how powerful Pinterest video pins are. So I thought it was time for me to make a video for you so that you can benefit from video pins. So I'm going to be showing you, first of all, how to create a video pin using Canva and the exact video specs you need to use. You'll also learn which colors perform best on Pinterest. Once we've created our video pin in Canva, I'll be popping over to Pinterest with you to show you how you can set up your video pin, optimize it correctly for maximum engagement and repins. So let's make a start. Pinterest recommends that you use a template which is 1000 by 1500 pixels in dimension. Although you can of course use a square or a vertical template. In terms of duration, Pinterest suggests that videos need to be above 4 seconds. And videos between 30 and 90 seconds long are those with the highest performance. So now let's pop over to Canva so I can show you exactly how to create your own unique Pinterest video pin. So from your Canva desktop, just pop your cursor in the search bar and search for Pinterest. See what Canva suggests. And you'll see at the bottom here, Pinterest video pin. So I'm just gonna click on that. As always, Canva will suggest some templates to you if you're really stuck for ideas and you can use any of these. To preview a template, just hover your cursor over the top right hand corner and then click on preview this template. But I'm gonna start from scratch using a blank template. Now there are three ways that you can go ahead and create a video pin or create any video in Canva for that matter. You can use just videos. You can use videos and graphics combined, or you can use just graphics. So I'm going to show you how to make a video pin using video and graphics. So I've got my cover page here and I really want it to stand out because it's the first thing that people are going to see in their Pinterest feed. Now I've already added a background, a colour background. And I've also added a photo of an iPad. I'm now going to go ahead and add some text overlay. Remember that a lot of people will be viewing content with the sound turned off. So you need to use text or captions to add context to your video and convey your overall message. Think of your pin like an advertising board on the side of a motorway you have just seconds to grab attention and convey your message. Add emphasis to the most important words. Try and use your text to convey the benefits of clicking through to watch your video pin. So for instance, in this one here, my audience can expect nine kettlebell exercises and the benefits of them are to torch fat. Or take this pin here. In a nutshell, my video pin will be about five top tips for interview success. So these are really benefits driven video pins. When it comes to using colour on Pinterest, I've discovered from research that shades of pink, orange, yellow, red tend to get the most engagement and repins on Pinterest. Back 
to my template and I'm now going to show you how to add my video. So I'm going to duplicate this page by clicking on this button here, duplicate page. And I'm going to delete all of my text. I'm going to add a frame within the iPad and you'll see why in a minute. I'm going to bring it to the front. And I'm then going to find my video file. Now, if you've not uploaded video files before, you do it in exactly the same way as you would do an image. So go to the sidebar here and click on uploads. And then click on upload media and you would upload your raw video file in exactly the same way as you would do an image. Once uploaded, you'll find your video under the videos tab here. So I'm just going to find the video file which I uploaded a few days ago. And I'm just going to carefully drag it and drop it into the photo frame, just like that. Now, since I'm a marketer, I like to finish videos off with a call to action, just so that I can generate as many leads as possible. So I've added some text to instruct my viewers to click the link to watch the full YouTube tutorial. And for a bit of fun, I've added a little animated arrow. Before you finish your video pin, you'll need to upload your logos. So I've uploaded my business logo here and my Canva certified creative logo just in the corner, if you can see that. If you don't want to add your logo, just add your business URL. And add that to all your pages. The final thing I want to do before downloading my video pin is just to have a quick preview of how the template will look. To do that, I'm just going to click on this little white triangle at the top of my Canva toolbar. I think my video is a little bit too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim it by clicking on the video file once to select it. And I'm going to go up to my toolbar where I see a pair of scissors. I'm going to click on the pair of scissors and trim the video down a little bit by grabbing a hold of one of these sidebars with my cursor and dragging it right along the time frame until I get to about 10 seconds. So I've got 10 seconds of video clip here. I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to click on done. And that is absolutely perfect. So all I need to do now is download the template as an MP4 video. And I'm going to download all the three pages. Now let's hop over to Pinterest so I can show you exactly how to set up your video pin for maximum effect. Right, so I'm now going to upload that video pin to my Pinterest account. So I'm going to click on create, create pin or product pin. And I'm going to find that video file that I downloaded from Canva. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing. OK, so I've uploaded my file and the next thing I want to think about is selecting a video cover image. So of course it will be the one that I created within Canva, so it will be this one here. If I hover my cursor over this little pencil icon, usually you can edit pins by adding text and so forth within Pinterest, but you can't with video pins. And this is why I always create my text within Canva before uploading a video pin to Pinterest. So once I've selected my video cover image, I'm going to add my title. Now think carefully about your titles because only the first 40 characters are what usually shows up in feeds. So you want to make sure that your keyword is within those first 40 characters. So I'm going to type Canva scroll animation tutorial. Okay, so Canva is my number one keyword and I've added scroll animation tutorial just to add some context. Underneath your heading, you'll find the description section. 
Again, you're allowed 500 characters for the description, but only the first 50 will be visible. So again, think very carefully and make your description keyword rich. So I'm just gonna convey a little bit more information and context. The next thing you want to consider is adding keyword rich hashtags. Now don't be spammy about this. I only use between two and three and they need to be very specific. So think carefully about them again. And the best place to add hashtags according to all the experts is in the description box underneath this text here that I've just typed. So I'm gonna use Canva, of course, that's my keyword. I'm going to use small business since Small businesses are my target audience. And I'm also going to add social media marketing. Okay, so I've used three hashtags that are very specific to my pin. The most important part is to add a destination link. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the link to my YouTube tutorial. So I've just copied it and I'm just gonna paste it into the space just here. Okay, and the last thing I need to do before hitting the publish button is to select the board where I want to publish my pin. So I'm going to go down to Canva and select Canva tutorials and click on publish. And you can see at the top here, my video is being reviewed. So that normally takes about, I would say an hour at the most, and then it will be live on your Pinterest board. That's it for Pinterest video pins. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, please do give it a like because it really does support my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn that little bell notification on so that you're the first to know when I upload a new video tutorial. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments box and I will see you next time. Have a great week.